friends! Yes, I know. Weird, right? Two videos in one week? This never happens. Uh, well, today I've got to share with you uh, something that I've been kind of putting off just because I've been so busy. Uh, it's a Nigel's and Namie's haul. If, for those of you who don't know, uh, Nigel's, there are two different stores. Nigel's and Namie's are both like professional retailers of makeup in LA. And I also have a uh, pro discount at each one of these places. Um, they, you know, distribute makeup for professional artists and also, uh, you know, everyday retail uh, consumers as well. So you can pick up some really amazing makeup there. I actually picked up this stuff a long time ago, like before IMATS, before I went to Europe, and I think one of these I actually ordered even before I went to Vegas. Um, so, uh, I'm really excited to finally haul this stuff for you. It's been really weird because uh, for stuff that I wanted to share with you uh, and I haven't hauled yet, um, like all the makeup that I buy online, I it's weird because I don't really want to use it until I've hauled it, you know what I mean? Like for those of you who make YouTube videos, you probably know what I mean. Um, so without further ado, I guess we'll just jump right into it. First I'll show you guys what I got at Mamie's. See, there's the Namie's label here. This is primarily a lash haul, but I got a couple other cool things in here. Mostly lots of cult lashes. Um, let's just jump right into it. Um, I was really interested in checking out some flutter lashes. Um, I don't know if these are in the right boxes at all, because I've actually started to use them already. Um, I'm wearing these ones on my eyes today. Um, but they're just the three packs of the different, uh, popular letter lashes. Um, and I think I'm actually going to use some of these in my kit too for like really, for, you know, really special events and special brides and stuff. Because they're so pretty. Um, I've been wearing these actually non-stop. Um, I think these are the irresistible ones, but I'm not sure. Uh, these are definitely the timeless ones. I haven't worn these yet. Um, but there's also, I think... I think these are in the correct boxes. I think these are the Elegant. I've been wearing those a lot too. As you can see, they're kind of jumbled in the box there. And these are the Irresistible Lashes that I'm wearing on my eyes. And here they are in here too. So uh, these are like $10 a box, I think. Oh, I, I, don't, I have no idea. I get a pro discount on everything, so. I don't shop there very often because they don't really do discounts on shipping. So when I do shop there, I tend to buy a bunch of stuff so I don't have to shop again for a while and I don't have to pay shipping for a while. But I do get a discount, so that's that's something. Um, I also wanted to pick up a couple of the cult lashes from uh, Flutter. Or no, these are Lily lashes actually. These are this is the Goddess lash kit from Lily lashes. I've been really interested in checking those out. I guess I'll just, you know, pull things out and go along that way. Um, these are Intoxicating by Flutter Lashes. Nice, full, very crazy full, big lashes there. Our Flutter Lashes, these are the crazed ones. They're a little bit, like, choppy looking. Can you see? Yeah. They're like a kind of a different style. I don't have this one in anything similar in my collection. And these are the captivating ones. Really full, um, but wispy kind of lashes too. Here's another pair of Lily lashes. It's, these are the So Extra Miami Lily lashes. Um, these are another like cult set of lashes there too. They're the last pair of Lily lashes I got. These are called Can. Uh, or, you know, like Con Film Festival, uh, the French city there. <laughs> They're called Con from Lily Lashes. The packaging on the back is really pretty too. Um, and that's not all the lashes I got. Those are just all the Lily Lashes and the Flutter Lashes that I got. I've never tried them before. I, you know, picked them up from Namie's. Um, so now I've got lots of lashes to try. I'm gonna be wearing lots of lashes coming up. Here's a couple Ardell ones. These are the runway ones the, in a style called Tyra. Really kind of avant-garde, different looking lashes. And um, I was pretty interested in the faux mink from Ardell. These look really pretty. These are um, the 810s faux minks. They look really wispy and pretty. 
Um, and then these are a little bit more fall. These are the 811 from Lily Lashes. They look really good. That's it for lashes, but I also picked up the... I've been looking at these for a while. These are Anas This is the Anastasia Brow stencils. <laughs> yeah, I want to get really much more into brows. I actually saw Anastasia herself doing some brows, doing a little demo of brows at IMATS. Oh my gosh, I'm so... she's so... she's a master. She's a queen. She's amazing. And I got a little bit... I got inspired to you know, get better at doing brows, because I'm not very good. I'm going to be very honest with you. I'm not very good at doing brows. I am making a huge mess. I'm just going to throw these in the ground. <laughs> um, I'm not very good at doing brows, but, you know, I decided that I think it would be pretty cool to learn brows just by spending a rainy day and just doing my brows over and over and over and over again, just the way... Just the same way that I learned how to do some face painting techniques. Like when I learned how to do one stroke roses, I just sat down on a rainy afternoon and I painted like a hundred roses. I think I need to do the same thing with brows and then I get pretty good at brows. Cause right now I'm not so good. Maybe these guys will help too. Um, something I really wanted to pick up from Namie's was uh, a lipstick palette, like a fillable lipstick palette. This one's just a Japanese one. I started to use it already. Um, this one's got lots of wells in it. Those are just some Dior lipsticks I stuck in there. And the last things I got from Namie's were really exciting. Um, I really wanted to pick up some stuff from the Des Desi and Katie collection. Uh, I think they still have a few. I'll, I'll go with, I'll show you my favorite first. This is the Desi X Katie highlighter in Mirame. I've actually been wearing this one. It's a little dark, but it's so beautiful and amazing and I think it's still available online it just like when you put it on it's just so wet looking it's so beautiful it's just like everything you want out of a highlighter and it's a little dark on me but what I usually do is just add a little bit of a lighter highlighter on top and it's fine and it's just it's so good it's worth it it's so worth it and I think it's still available on the Namie's website so if you haven't picked it up I would recommend it and the packaging is so beautiful too it's so glittery and bougie and nice oh my gosh mirame mirame <laughs> um, and then I also pick up a couple of the lip products from the Des Desi and Katie collection uh, the first one is I tried to put this on today but I don't know it doesn't really, this isn't really good on me. It like kind of washed me out, probably just because of the, I don't know, the way I decided to wear my makeup today. But it a little washed me a little bit out. But it was a really nice texture. Um, I still have to check it out some more. But it's the lipstick in no shade from Desi and Katie. You can see it says Desi and Katie on the lipstick tube there. I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to get it to focus. But it's, that's really pretty. The touch is, the packaging is gorgeous. I think it'll be a nice color to mix in with other lipsticks. Too. We might give that a shot. This is another one from the Des Desi and Katie collection. This one, this, this is a lipstick called Nope. More creamer, please. Just another lipstick. This one's just like a, oh, I don't know. I should have tried to put on this one. This is probably the one I needed to put on. Because I was going for like a, your lips but better kind of look. Uh, this might have been nicer on me, but I haven't used this one yet. This one's called More Creamer Please. And I got one of the lix liquid lipsticks from the Desi and Katie collection. Um, this one is called Savage. Um, I'm not going to open that up yet just because I'm not ready to use it just yet. I don't have any plans to wear it yet. Um, so I want to, you know, keep the air out of it so it lasts longer. <laughs> Um, but this is like a dark vampy color, um, nice purpley vampy color. And the last thing that I got at Namie's that I haven't shared with you yet is the lip that I'm wearing my lips today, a very beautiful Your Lips But Better color. This is called uh, Truffle by Dose of Colors. Um, it's like a mauve-y. I, I love this color. I, it's, it kind of looks like my lips. It's a, very much a My Lips But Better color. and. I really like the formula so far. It's not too drying. It looks really pretty. Um, and that's called Truffle from Dose of Colors. So that's everything that I got at Namie's. Got breezed through that pretty quickly, even though that was kind of a lot of stuff. Um, 
but let me just go on and show you the stuff I got from Nigel's neck. So I got way more stuff from Nigel's. Here's my big old Nigel's box. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so much stuff in here. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. Um, first thing I got from Nigel's is a big old bottle of 99% um, isopropyl alcohol. I use this stuff to sanitize uh, some stuff in my kit as well as activate um, some alcohol. My alcohol activated paints. There's something floating around in there. Weird. There's something floating around in that bottle. Um, but yeah, this is what I I activate my alcohol based paints with and also um, how I sanitize stuff in my kit. Next up um, is something I've been kind of eyeing for a while. It's the special effects uh, make uh, brush set from Bedallium Tools. And they're just a set of special effects brushes. I really have no idea what to expect with these. Um, but yeah, they're just like different special effects shape shapes. And I think they might be a little bit more resistant to being ruined. Because I don't know if you know this, but special effects um, makeup kind of ruin your brushes hard. It comes with a little case too. So perhaps these are a little bit more... Um, you know, withstanding of that and stand up to that to the heat, if you will. So those are the Bedellium Tools uh, special effects brushes. I'll let you know how those go. Uh, like a little jug of the Bed Nye waterproof mixing liquid. I was kind of running low on this stuff. Um, I used this to uh, get my body paint to last longer. I add it to my body paint. Um, and I also met, add it to my Mayron metallic powders to get them to the really last. Um, yeah, it's a it's a cool little thing. Ben Nye Liquiset, a uh, waterproof mixing liquid. It's a very versatile product. I was running kind of low on my Ben Nye Final Seal, so I got a little bit more Ben Nye Final Seal. This is like the most intense uh, makeup sealer that you that is on the market really it smells like mouthwash it's very intense in more than ways than one if this doesn't get your makeup to stay no other uh <laughs> makeup setting spray will this is this is this is it right here you guys this is it um i also picked up a scandinavia a spray i've been really interested in scandinavia i've been using of course the urban decay makeup uh setting spray um, which is made in partnership with Scandinavia. Um, and I was just kind of interested to see what the difference would be between those. I, I just uh, actually finished up my Urban Decay setting spray, so I'm excited to give this a shot next. I'll uh, see how that compares. Some essentials for my kit. I got a couple um, like refills of lashes. These are the Eyelore Exaggerate lashes. Um, I don't use these too often, but I want to maybe wear them on myself for some really intense looks. Um, and yeah, those are the Eyelore uh, Exaggerate Lashes. And they, they come in pair, sets of three. Ran out of these, um, and it was bad because I, well, it wasn't that bad. I, I dealt with it, but there was a, a client that really wanted to try out a pair of these. These are like really full Ardell lashes. These are the Glamour ones in the five pack. Um, so I picked up a five pack of those. Uh, yeah, and I keep those in my kit. I ran out of those. And you can never get enough Ardell Demi Wispies. Uh, these are probably the most used strip lashes by any makeup artist, really. Me and basically any other makeup artist, this is probably the most used lashes of all. So let's go ahead and show you what I got in this little bottle, uh, this little baggie. Some really exciting stuff. Everything else that I've got in this box is really exciting. A lot of stuff that I was just kind of had my eye on for a while. This is um, the Anastasia brush in 7B. As I mentioned earlier, I was really inspired to get better at doing brows. So, you know, I want to do them the Anastasia way. And uh, got the 7B brush. I think that will be very helpful for sure. I've been coveting, like, I have a Sugar Pro, Sugar Pill Pro palette. But, and I'm really happy with the colors that I have in it, but I've been coveting this. I have so many red shadows in my collection, but none of them are quite the same as this. This is Love Plus by Sugar Pill. 
the truest red of all eyeshadows. Um, and I'm so excited to finally have it in my collection. Just got a little single of it. That's Sugar Pell Love Plus. So excited to finally have this. A must-have for all makeup artists in their kit. This is Inklot Duraline. It's just a uh, material. It's a mixing liquid that you add to different makeup products, especially like liquid eyeliners and stuff that will, you know, bring it back to life after they've dried out a little bit or, you know, bring it back to life if they've lost their integrity in any, any kind of way. So that's really exciting to have. That's Inglot Duraline. It comes in like a little dropper. I guess I'll show you. Yeah, looks like this. And the last thing in this little baggie is two more of the Stila liquid glitters. I can't get enough of this stuff. It's so amazing. Um, I got them in the color Sea Siren and Gypsy. Gypsy is one of the new colors. Um, and these are such beautiful, unique colors. There's a lot of companies coming out with great liquid sh um, glitters, uh, which is great because uh, the Stila ones are great, but they're expensive. But I get my discount on them because I'm a pro at Nigel's and Nanny's. Um, yeah, there's this one's Gypsy. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's like a bluish, purpley, uh, duochrome kind of glitter. Um, and this one's Sea Siren. Uh, Gypsy's a little bit more purple. Sea Siren's like a bit more pink blue. But I'm so excited to use these. I think I'm going to use them in a look very, very soon. So excited about these. Now, the next thing I'm about to show you, I've been eyeing for about two years, and I finally pulled the trigger on this. And it was very, very expensive. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? The Artiste Mirror Collection brushes. Oh, I've been, I don't know. I saw these like two years ago. I'm just like, oh, there's no way I'm going to need those brushes. They're too expensive. They look great, but they way too expensive. And I went to, uh, what do you call that place? <laughs> uh, Cinema Makeup School and my teachers all had these and like, they kind of like, you know, there were, they looked like a product that would save you once in a while. Like, you can't really blend out, you know, this one area around the eye. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a beauty blender, but like a brush. The, like, I don't know. The bristles are so densely compact and so soft, and it feels so amazing to apply. I haven't really used these, I just kind of rubbed them off my face to see how they would feel. Oh, and I can't wait to use these. I finally have them in my collection. It's the mirror set with all five inside right here. And uh, yeah, my life is a little bit more complete now that I have these. I don't know what this would be used for. Is this for like eyeliner? Yeah, I guess so. Right? Right? Eyeliner? Anyway. <laughs> that, those are the Artiste brushes. I'm just still playing with them. Add a little highlight, you know? You know? And the last thing is that I have to show you from my Na Nigel's and Amy's haul. I think this is the last thing. Let me just... Yes, these last two things are the last things, um, and you know these are trending products there, and they're gonna go into my kit actually because I think they're gonna be very versatile and like necessary products. Um, but first, uh, I'm wearing both of these products on my face. First is the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. Mm -hmm. um, yes, when I saw this and. I recognized a lot of the shadows as like shadows that exist somewhere else in the Anastasia collection, but I didn't have them, so I was excited that they put them in a palette. And I think these are going to be just gorgeous, beautiful, perfect um, shades for bridal. So I can't wait to use this. The bridal season coming up, um, you know, it's April 19th. Oh my gosh. Halfway through, more than halfway through April already. But yeah, uh, bridal season is just around the corner. I actually have a makeup appointment tomorrow, and I'm doing a wedding next week. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to have uh, these to show you, and they're so beautiful. I'm wearing this palette on my eyes today. Really an easy palette to work with to create like just flawless, beautiful, glam looks. 
Um, I really love this mulberry shade. I'm wearing Sultry with Rosé on top and the, and the as the star of the show on the uh, on my lid here and I put a lot of sienna and um, burnt orange in my crease and I blended everything out with tempura. Really great versatile palette. Oh yeah, and I'm also wearing glistening and fairy in my inner corners here and a little bit on the bravo. And the last thing um, that I have to show you uh, I was really sad that I was only able to get Mirame, Mirame, uh, in the Dose of Colors Des Desi and Katie collection because I really had my eye on Fuego, but apparently this is, product is pretty similar to Fu Fuego, so I didn't miss out on this. This is the Anastasia Ambrisi highlighter, and look at how pretty she is. Um, I'm wearing her on my cheekbones today. This is a... This is so beautiful. Like, look at that packaging. It just, it looks so pretty. Not only that, but it's not too dark, not too light. Um, and I think this would be a great color for any skin, skin toe. This is going to go definitely straight in my kit. Buildable too. Like, you can have a very subtle highlight with this, or you can have a very blingy highlight with this too. So, um, this is another product I'm super excited about. Finally having my collection. And yeah. So glad I finally did this haul, <laughs> so I can, um, you know, pack it away for when I move and also use it a lot more. Um, as you know, I <laughs> I tend to not really use things that I haven't hauled. I dipped into this stuff a little bit, but now I'm ready to dip into it full force. So thanks for joining me, and yeah, I should have some more videos up very soon. Uh, make sure to. Subscribe. I have a I have a um, giveaway coming up soon. So um, if you want to be part of that giveaway, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Links are down below. Um, and yeah, let me know know down in the comments if you have any of this stuff, if you like it, um, and what you thought was the coolest thing that I showed you. Um, so yeah, let's have a let's have a chat. And thanks for joining me. And I'll see you next time.